Are you a small business owner looking for a reliable way to generate quality leads quickly? Google Ads is an excellent way to fulfill that goal. So today we have Jake Janoski, one of BizIQ Smart Local Affordable Marketing's paid media experts to answer all of your questions on Google advertising. Whether you're a local shop or a national e-commerce business, Jake has a lot of great information and tips to share with you today. So let's dive in. I am Jake Janoski. I am the paid media manager uh, here at BizIQ. I've been with BizIQ for a little over two years, uh, but I've been in the digital marketing field and practicing my craft for a little over 10 years. Google has a plethora of tools available to you, but basically uh, broken down when you go to Google and you conduct a search and you see an ad placed right at the top of the search results, that is the most common Google advertising that is out there, which is a search ad. When you have intent to do business with someone or conduct business with someone, where do you go to find them? Right, you go to Google, right? You don't go to Facebook, you don't go to LinkedIn, you go to Google when you type in, you know, plumber near me, right? So plumber near me is an intent-based search because you're searching for somebody near you, you're searching for somebody with you within your, your geographical location. Um, interruption marketing is when you're scrolling through a news feed, right? And an ad pops up and grabs your attention, right? It's interrupting you while you're currently doing something. Google offers both intent-based marketing and interruption marketing. Uh, intent base is going to be your search shopping campaigns and then your interruption is also going to be display in youtube i would say multi-network campaigns and what i mean by not multi-network is essentially a search campaign a display campaign you know running some ads on social media maybe facebook instagram as well um, but having multi-network is really going to uh, help you achieve your goals in the long run um, but also just having different marketing objectives uh, with a smart goal attached to that marketing objective, right? Your marketing objective for a Google search is going to be lead generation to where your marketing objective for a YouTube or display campaign is going to be branding. So it would be a different objective. Uh, so just identifying what objective and, and what you want for where. So there's different ad types and there's also different campaign types. Uh, so first I'll go into ad types and then I'll go into campaign types. Most common is search, right? You go to Google, type in a search, you see your search ad. Uh, you'll also see shopping ads within the search results, um, shopping campaigns typically for your e-commerce uh, websites. Uh, if you're selling a, you know, a product on your website, shopping campaign is the route that you want to go. Uh, you also have a display campaign, which are your images. Uh, let's say you're browsing a website or a blog, you know, you're on CNN.com and you see that big banner ad across the top, that is a display ad. Uh, you also have, in my opinion, the most underutilized tool in ad out there is YouTube. Uh, YouTube is the number two search engine. Remember that number two next to number one, which is Google. YouTube is owned by Google. So technically they're one and two. Um, you also have uh, different campaign types, right? Such as a search campaign, shopping campaign, display campaign, a universal app campaign. Uh, let's say you have an app for your business that you want to promote. You can do a, a universal app campaign to uh, promote downloads or promote in-app purchases. Uh, you can also do a campaign that's called the Performance Max, which is essentially blasting your ad across all networks within one campaign. I'm always going to recommend multi-network campaigns, right? A search paired with display, search paired with YouTube, you know, search paired with Facebook, it, do it doesn't matter, right? As long as it's a different network, I'll always recommend that because the more networks you're on, uh, the more they work in conjunction with each other and they're going to move your prospect through the buying funnel uh, but part two to that is it really depends on your goals as a business owner right your goals uh, will kind of determine what the best strategy is um, so if your goal is to generate leads then search is probably the best network for you right so it really just depends on uh, some factors but i'll always say multi-network <laughs> A lot of factors go into it. Uh, the number one factor is going to be geographically where you want your ads to show, right? Uh, let's say you're a plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills, California, or you're a plastic surgeon in Iowa, right? That's going to be a completely different cost per click. Um, I will tell you that the best rule of thumb in my recommendation is to have a budget to sustain roughly 10 clicks a day. Whatever your average cost per click is in your geographical area for what you're offering, you want to sustain roughly 10 clicks a day or 300 clicks on a monthly basis and you'll be in a really good position.
So when it comes to KPIs or like key metrics, metrics that you want to look at, uh, in my professional opinion, it's very, um, it's almost everyone has a different opinion, right? As someone's going to say this metric is more important than this metric or this one. Uh, in my opinion, the most important metric is going to be your cost per acquisition. How much did it cost me to get this lead or get this new patient or whatever the case may be in your impression share? Uh, impression share is 100% of impressions or ads are available for the given keywords that we're targeting and how much of that am I capturing. The closer you can get to 100% of capturing that impression share, the more successful your campaign will be. Uh, a lot of people focus on cost per click, uh, you know, click through rate. Yes, those are great metrics and they will tell you a story and they will kind of tell me how to improve the campaign. Uh, but at the end of the day, they're not the most important metrics. Number one is going to be not investing the right budget. Um, budget is very crucial, especially early on. Because, uh, you know, your first 30 days are the most important, right? You're you're investing in your business and essentially what you're doing is you're purchasing, you're buying the data that's coming into your ads account from Google. Uh, and somebody like myself is analyzing that data and predicting what's going to happen next and what changes to make to improve that performance. Um, so not investing the right amount in the beginning can be detrimental to the campaign. Um, number two, I would say not investing the proper time for optimization. Uh, depending on your AOV or your average order value, uh, you know, you might see a profit the first 30 days, you might not see a profit the first 30 days. It just really depends on, you know, how much a customer is worth to you and then how much that lead costs you. Uh, so you have to give it time for proper optimization. I recommend uh, a 90 day cycle. Um, I always say once you're at that 90 day mark, you have a very well oiled machine that just needs to be maintained uh, through optimization. You know, keep going forward with it, keep maintaining it, uh, and you'll be in a good position. Um, I'd also say not trusting the data that's coming in. We may think a keyword is very viable and good for our business, uh, but at the end of the day, if that keyword is not converting uh, and it's not bringing in revenue, is it really a good keyword? Probably not, right? And the data will tell us that. Um, my best advice is embrace the em, embrace the data, right? Embrace the data, and that data is painting a picture for you. And just embrace what that picture is, and you'll be able to move forward and be successful. It really depends. It depends on how much budget you're putting into it, because that's going to determine how much data is coming in at any given time. Um, so the more money you put into it, the more data is that's going to come out. Um, in the beginning, usually you need roughly five to seven days worth of data uh, right in the beginning to kind of see what's happening. Uh, but you consistently want to monitor your negative or your search terms and add negative keywords uh, as they come in. Uh, the more often that you can monitor that uh, daily, hourly, uh, if possible. Uh, but again, that's very time consuming uh, because Ideally, you want to prevent as much irrelevant spend coming in as possible. And if you can prevent that search term from, you know, getting an impression that was an irrelevant to preventing it from happening again and getting a click and costing you money, uh, that's ultimately what you want to do. Um, so I'd say hourly, <laughs> daily, um, and then for the bigger picture, uh, seven days worth of data is really good. And then we're looking at 14 days worth of data as well. Because uh, that will really allow you to uh, identify trends uh, and then predict what's going to happen next after that. YouTube, YouTube, use it. Use it. Very cost effective way to brand and advertise your company. Um, you have to think about times now, right? Uh, when I was a kid, it was TV, TV commercials, TV was a thing. Now it's internet streaming. You know, that's the thing. I would also say, do not use broad match keywords, uh, even though people will tell you to use broad match keywords because they're cheaper, um, but they also bring in a ton of irrelevant spend. So they're not really that cheap. They're not cheaper. They're just not. The rule of thumb that I go by and I've been going by for a very long time is that for every one keyword that you're targeting, you want to have at least two to five negative keywords to counteract that. What a lot of people don't realize is that negative keywords do not work like regular keywords. So there's no matching. There's no like how you can broad match to a specific phrase. It's not like that with negative. So you have to remove that exact phrase. You have to remove that exact word. Um, there's no match types when it comes to negative keywords. So you have to keep that in mind.
We have quite a few here at Biz IQ, but <laughs> I will uh, I will go into one specific that stands out. Um, um, it is a online e-commerce business. Um, I will maintain you know some client privacy here, so I'll just speak broadly. Um, online e-commerce business um, sells mailboxes, uh, residential mailboxes, com commercial mailboxes, um, apartment complex mailboxes where it's you know multi-unit that kind of thing. Um, the client has been with us for seven months, uh, and in that seven months, we have generated 1.8 million uh, in online sales, so direct purchases off the website. Uh, in about, I'd say a little less than that in phone sales. Um, our client does a very good job of keeping track of phone calls and attributing those phone calls uh, to our Google Ads, because uh, we do track phone calls as well through the through the conversion tracking. And then he uh, keeps track of it and attributes it back to us. Uh, so I'd say we're, we're probably somewhere around 2 million uh, combined with both. Um, and uh, we're running at, this is the most impressive one for me, is <clears throat> we're running at a 3,031% ROAS. Uh, what that means is your return on ad spend. Uh, so essentially for every $1 our client spends with us on Google ads, he makes $30 and 31 cents in return. So very, 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 very profitable. Thank you for taking the time to uh, be here with me today. I love talking about this stuff. Uh, advertising on Google and YouTube is essential for any business. Uh, here at BizIQ, uh, we partner with businesses uh, to accelerate growth uh, through smart, innovative, and affordable digital marketing solutions. And we would love to help you out uh, and help your business grow. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks, Jake. And if you're interested in working with the experts, instead of trying to manage your multi-channel campaigns on top of all of the other things you manage as a business owner, it's more affordable than you think. BizIQ is the nation's leading affordable digital marketing company for a reason. Give us a call or visit the link in the description box below to set up a free marketing analysis with one of our experts today.